Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah, and today we're going to be talking about six things Americans say which are rude in the UK. First off, I'd like to apologise to Joel for my falafel breath. Hey! Oh, hey! Is that what that smell is? Don't worry, I've eaten the same things as you. Yeah. My halloumi breath, like your falafel, falafel breath. breath. Uh, so before we start, don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already, because we post videos every single week and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Imagine if um, you could smell your YouTube Are you breath. still thinking about your flapple breath? Yeah, if you could smell it, then you would not subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell anything. Okay, good. The other thing is that Joel and I also put out content every day on our personal Instagram page. So these are the links to follow us there. And we yeah. also have a joint account, which we'll yeah. post in the middle here. We regularly do Instagram stories and as well as posting videos. And so if anyone's interested photos. in our lives outside mm -hmm. of this channel, yeah. that is where to look. Now on with the video. I didn't realise that America and England are so different in terms of language use. I did. No, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there are certain words that Americans say, but they don't realise that they mean something very different here in the UK. Mm -hmm. So for example, the first one, cop. A feel. <laughs> in America, cop just means policeman. In the UK, cop is used in the phrase to cop a feel, which means to... Like squeeze. So, yeah, if you like... Or I think, can you even say copped on something? You can't, can you? It's copper feel. Copper really. feel, yeah. Oh, let me copper feel. That's like one old man would say to a young girl at a bar and she'd be like, no. That's a really good, like, little demo we did. Thanks. Yeah, that was good. Next one. Next one. It's not that rude, but it just means something different. It's called Trump. Trump. Um, as in President Trump. President Trump. Uh, in the UK, if someone says Trump, obviously I now think of President Trump, but before that, before I'd heard of him, that just means fart. Yeah. And it doesn't mean fart since Trump. Someone, I remember hearing someone say, oh, is that since President Trump because you think he's like as bad as a fart? And I'm like, no, no, it's meant fart for, for years, years since it existed. Did you just Trump? Yeah, Trump. Trump. It's sort of what, you, what you're taught to say as a child because fart is too rude. So your parents say, they call it a trump and they say, no, that's a trump, not a fart. Yeah. Um, so yeah, President Fart. What are the fart. other words for fart? Fart, past wind. Past wind. Or past wind. Did you pass wind? Is it past wind? wind? Past. A wind in the past or is it a, is past P -A -S -S, wind? P-A-S-S, yeah. Oh, okay. P-U-M-P, pump. Pump, maybe a pump. Someone's toot. Like, oh, did you toot or pump? Pump, did you pump? I wouldn't say pump. But <laughs> did you pump? <laughs> did you pump? I'd never say it, but these are just other okay. things that kids are taught to call what a do they fart. Call it? Put down below <laughs> colloquialisms for fart. fart. So I'm just interested to know. <laughs> Okay. Trump. I don't think I hardly. I, hardly I never say it. Trump. You just say fart. I'll just say fart. Or bottom burp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just did a bottom burp. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. A burp out of your bottom. Yeah. Bottom burp. It's better than a mouth fart. A mouth fart. <laughs> oh, that's gross. I know. Hilarious. Okay. I love bottom burp. Anyway, so. Are you, you more of a bottom burper or a mouth farter? Do both in equal amounts. Really? I'm very gassy. I I don't burp a lot. No, you don't. Occasionally you'll do one and it's just a very tiny like. Yeah, and, and I'll go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and I'll be like, that is not That's a burp. That's not that bad. Yeah. No, I I'll fart. I fart quite. I trump quite a lot, and um, but I try Unnoticed. and take it outside of the room. Unnoticed mm. though, don't you? I try to hover in corners and just let one rip and then. And come then back go in. back in. So I don't want everyone to smell it. Okay. Anyway, next. Enough, enough of that. <laughs> The next word that Americans sometimes use, which we don't, is spunky. <laughs> Can't even say it. No, it's um... Spunky. In America... What does it I'm, mean? I'm aware that I think spunky, if you're spunky, you're like... Full of life. Peppy and like full of life and like sassy and like... But spunk doesn't mean that here. It doesn't, it means something... It means um, male ejaculation. It means like semen. Semen. So if you call someone spunky, it's not... Not a very nice thing to. I'd hate to be called say. spunky. I'd, can you imagine? Oh, you know, Leah, she's so spunky. Oh my gosh, no. I'd be like, I'm not spunky. Is that Eastern European accent? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Eastern I got European. Because that. <laughs> they learnt an American English accent. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly. why. <laughs> uh, so don't, don't call British spunky. people spunky because it won't go down well. You'll probably get a face like. How many of you actually say that in America? Like, do you use that word? I'd like to know. Yeah. 
I remember one of my Beanie Babies was called Spunky. You know they had the name in it? Oh, yeah. There was a dog yeah, called Spunky. And I just thought it was weird. <laughs> um, leading on from that word... <laughs> I just thought it was weird. I don't... <laughs> it just came out so funny. <laughs> I Do you want to read the page? No. Oh, well, oh, that, spunk. I don't know. Spunky. What? What is that word? <laughs> it's not, it doesn't even sound like her. It's just funny. That's brilliant. I'm it's getting like, sweaty. Are you? It's the thought of the word spunky. <laughs> Calm down, babe. Calm down. Okay, the next word is also a bit rude. Okay, we're on word number three. Word number three. Let's go. Randy. That is a word, that is a name in America. Lots of boys are Randy. called Randy, which is just hilarious. Oh, and do you remember Randall? Randall, Randall. yeah. What's that program? Is that from Recess? Randall. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I Love that remember. show. Randy uh, means over here, like, a bit horny. Yeah, horny. So, whereas I know, yeah, lots of American boys are called Randy. Randy. And it's weird that it's innate. To us, it's odd that that is a name, because you're and like, you're called horny? What? And is it also a describing word in the US, or is it just a mm, name? We'll see. We'll soon find out in the comments. We will. I'm sure you'll all make your opinions heard. <laughs> <laughs> so much salt text. We get a lot of hate lately, so... Yeah, but we just don't care. been deleting it. Yeah. Um... My favourite word, which Americans use, is fanny. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fanny means vagina, mm -hmm. obviously. It doesn't mean bum. Is that what they think it means? Mm. Your fanny pack. Yeah, bum it means bag. bum bag. No, fanny, fanny means vagina. Also, I like... No, that's not a name. I was going to say I used to call some of my friends Fanny, but that was because they were called Fran, Francesca, and I'd call them Franny, and then just drop the R and call them Fanny. So that was actually um, bullying, I think. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, now I think that about it. That was probably, it. probably yeah, bullying. it's probably why they don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> 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 oh, nothing about it. <laughs> no, nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Too funny today, cracking me up today. I know, it's hilarious. It's brilliant. Right. Oh, I love it when he cracks me up. <laughs> the final word, which we use quite a lot, is the word thick. Mm -hmm. So, in America, yeah. thick means... Just like mean? large and like, like the actual meaning of thick, which is like oh, wide that's... and large and like meaty. Yes, that's a thick blanket you've got there. Yeah. Thick. Whereas here it means stupid. Dumb. Dumb. You're so thick. And we might even thick. say thick, not With a thick. Fur. That means if someone's thick, that's they like next level. level. Dumb. Literally, yeah. Because you're even saying like thick, like the way they would say it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thick. thick. Oh, you're so thick. thick. Um, also, as a last minute one, we just did an Instagram live on our joint Instagram. Another reason to go and follow us on Instagram. And I think this person was from America, and they said, what does the word grim mean? Grim? Yeah. Grim means, like, gr gr gross? Yeah. Gr gr but like, not so gross. Grim. Grim's a bit different to gross, because... Like, if the weather's grim, the weather is, like, rainy and cloudy, so yeah. it's not necessarily... Gross is just not... What is it? Not ideal. Not, not ideal, and... Like, you can deal with grim, but you'd yeah. rather it not be. Yeah. Whereas if something's gross, you might not go near it. Yeah. But you could be in someone's house and be like, oh, this is grim. This is so grim. Is grim. And if you're slightly posh, you might pronounce it slightly more like grum. Grum. <laughs> That's so grum. That's so grum. That's so grum. <laughs> we're really good at that. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, this is so grim. Oh, this is so grim. I don't even know what we're doing. I'm now. in East London. It's so grim. <laughs> like, I just need to get back to Sloan Square. Yeah. That's perfect. So that was six words that you say in America that are a bit rude here in the UK, plus an extra one that isn't rude in the UK, it's just a, a fact. Word. fact. Yeah. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications of when we're uploading. Yep. And before we leave, we just thought we'd point you over to a little website that we've joined called Patreon. It's a place where basically you as viewers can tip your favourite creators if you would like to. So we'll link our Patreon page below. If you don't know what Patreon is, just click on the link. We've made another video over on that uh, over on that page, just telling you all about what we're going to be offering as extras. Yes, and we've had our first ever patron, 
And um, so we're going to be I Skyping know. him very soon. It's so fun because we hadn't even plugged the, play the page. No. We had not even plugged the page. That's hard to say. Plugged we had not the page. even plugged the page. Um, plugged. Does everyone know plug? Plugged means like promote. To promote. So um, plug, plug, plug. So hopefully more of you can go over and check out our yeah. Patreon. There's different rewards. So um, our first patron has got a monthly Skype session with us. So we're really looking forward it's to It's basically with him. the start of a new friendship. It basically is. That's it. Go and have a look if you like. And we we'll will see, see you next week. Next week. Bye. Bye.